and pretty crazy. <laughs> but that was but it's cool. All right, so now now we got a, a full house here. Um, now we can get crazy. Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> pretty good. Sorry I'm late. No, no problem. Everybody was late. Um, I, I was late too, so. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> And then the other half didn't even know uh, the show started, so just, uh, hey, Corey, get in here. <laughs> so, you know, this is actually the, the second uh, show broadcast from Minds Chat. We did it before it even went live. And so now it's it's live, and um, it's interesting, and it's cool that, um, you know, people are trickling in. And it's it was fun today to, like... Um, you mentioned it a little earlier, uh, Minds Gaming. Like, for Imaginary, I'm just talking about Imaginary. I'm like, we already set, like, the tone and, like, culture there. And so, like, when people start trickling in, they're seeing all sorts of weird, like, monkeys eating mushrooms and um, weird poetry. And um, it's, <laughs> <Yeah>. it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, exactly that's what a, I, I was want. trying to tell everybody, like, this is, this is a whole different culture than Minds like even though it's part of minds like it's a different culture in the minds chat like i had people in my minds gaming group now that i've never talked to on minds before just because it's a different atmosphere different culture the different ways you find it and, and it's just it's, it's all just a, a little bit different but i think the the communication is going to be uh, so much better on here so. oh yeah yeah um you know old old messenger was like sending the email you know you, like you send it and then like three days later you get a, mess, you get a response send, later sending an email with a, a defined amount of characters <laughs> yeah I, I think i've got it like a response like a year later it's like oh shit i didn't even know there was a messenger what's up story <laughs> uh, old messenger <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i'm loving it our, satori and i were we're on the old chat we were emailing and i was trying to contact via slack it was kind of a clusterfuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's like three three ways of communication yeah. just checking them all so so yeah this yeah yeah is this, gonna be way better. this is going to be a lot better for communication like especially direct to direct communication and then we have all these little rooms that we can contact in like it has like uh, uh this room doesn't but uh like story d has like either pads in one of his rooms where you can make like uh stories together and then you have like uh, you have the giphy in a lot of rooms like there's just so <laughs> many fun stuff to do the ether pad i like the ether pad like uh I'm, you know i'm not a big writer or poet or anything like that I, i'll make something every now and then but um the ether pad is nice because i can read it and like kind of get ideas and like expand my knowledge on that you know that's what i did yeah, I, yeah, I, well, I you, you guys are using it in the imaginarium like uh like a uh, cooperative kind of poem kind of thing which I'm, yeah like, i'm just i'm just in there learning from that i'm just like all right awesome because i'm not a, like and i can write some stuff but i'm not like you guys <laughs> that <laughs> For, uh, for people later or not, not doesn't know what we're talking about um, in Imaginarium, I have this like idea, and I've been doing it like back and forth um, in Imaginarium with different people. But I think with the new Minds Chat, um, it's going to be different in how um, you know more in real time we get to interact with each other. Um, but it's a collective poem, and you know the the theme is stealing fire from the gods and you know, I had this idea, and I, um, actually, you know, weeks ago, I, I had the idea, and actually, um, I was talking about it, and, um, uh, Giuliano, uh, said she wanted to do some artwork for it, so she sent me this, like, um, what was it, fire, um, kaleidoscope, um, collage, and it just made me, remind me of the Pyramid of Fire, this, um, ancient, um, Aztec, um, codex that I, I read a long time ago actually i gave it to my friend and I, I remember telling him i handed him the book i'm like look i don't care if you give it back to me or not but you better read it because if you're not gonna read it then you can't, you can't take it like i don't care if i get it back or not 
And the sad thing is, I don't think you ever read it. But, uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I made like a connection to that, and then like everything kind of like snowballed from there. And then like I go back and like I read it, and there's like like we're just um, I kind of like get get what why Philip K. Dick like spiraled out that one time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It just, uh, it's just been fun. We, we're gonna have a lot of good uh, artwork coming out and uh, poetry. And um, I think too, you know, what what's cool about this is like, um, with the, with the ether uh, pad, at least for us, like people could dip in and out. And then like, if, if you wanna see like what's going on, you'll, you'll go dip into like the ether pad and then you could like, for people like Kalik, you know, I know Kalik, um, every now and then he like, you know, he comes in like once a week or whatever, that he could go there and like, I know he wants to rework his uh, poetry, but um, anyways, it actually started that way. Kalik uh, sent me an uh, email and said, um, I'm having writer's block, I don't know what to do. And then, so I I put a mixtape in, in group and I said, hey, this is uh, why you're waiting for the muse. And I and I um, posted uh, some of the lyrics from one of, one of the songs, and then uh, actually Michael was was the one who started it off and wrote some poetry, and kicked it off. And then um, so, so that was cool. I like um, how that developed. Um, that's the, the fun part. Um, you never know what's gonna happen. Like I like, like all that stuff. I just came up in the moment. Like I, you know. And so that's the way it is with this kind of stuff, man. Like, uh, just, you know, it's stacking ideas on top of ideas. Like, uh, you can't, you can't down, you can't down it because, you know, of the surges and the little issues that we're going to have along the way. You, you got to expect that we're going to run into a few bumps here and there pretty much. Is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's where the fun's at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be good, honestly. Yeah, 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 me too. I think I think that's the best best path. I mean, I think the main things that they're gonna have to work on is uh, getting it so images can have text associated with them and then just saving or merging the content into the groups. So after that, it's, it's, all, it's all game on. <laughs> <laughs> So what was the ether pad you guys were talking about earlier? Curious. Is it in the chat? Yeah, it's on, uh, it should it's, be on the top. Oh yeah, it's in the Imaginarium. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we can add it. So when when you when you set up your own like a room, uh, your own chat room, there's different features, and then so you could you could pin stuff to the top, and so for for Imaginarium, I have. Um, a YouTube um, widget that is linked to like a playlist and then um, I have the other one is the ether uh, pad which is the shared document and then so what I've been doing is when people share um, their, their parts of their poetry I, I pull it from there and I, I, I put it on the pad and then I kind of says who, oh. who, did, who did that verse so then we have kind of you know um, the basic outline of Okay, I missed it. Yeah, I don't want to go click on the room because I feel like it's going to boot me out of this if I switch, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Um, your your Jitsi shouldn't boot you out of the room. Like, you, you can browse rooms around really? while you're talking to us. So you can be oh. in a different room and can still be in our chat. Yeah. I see that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, that was, like, one of the first things I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Oh, the, Joanna, you got kicked out. Your, your fear came true. Yeah, she, she probably went and tested and then was like, you guys are fucking lying. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, really, it should keep you in the room while you're, while you're proud. We, we tested it out a couple times. It didn't have any issues. I don't know if she's on mobile or not. So. Oh, for you. Hey, no, <laughs> um, I clicked the pop-out widget and it went to a new tab. 
I'm just experimenting. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> what it's all about. It's all about playing. Yeah. Well, you know that that's the funny thing. Um, I've been thinking about this, and uh, you know, when I was little, uh, one of the stories I liked was Curious George, and I like Curious George because he was just always so playing around and learning about things. <laughs> the monkey. The monkey. <laughs> um, I like how um, the minute I kind of mentioned uh, my, my ideas, and I, I don't know, maybe it was coincidence, maybe it was in the ether, and then maybe that's why I was saying it, but uh, he tagged me in, in something Bill said, which was very similar to what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, 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 because uh, somebody uh, commented on Canary and they're like, oh, do I get rewards for this? And Bill was like, oh, no, uh, but, you know, <laughs> we're, we're, we're definitely looking into that. <laughs> but, yeah, but, like, you know, because already there's a lot of activity here. And, you know, on, on the, the mind side of it is, okay, what do you want to, like, incentivize like what do you want like what are we we're trying to do and like what i said in group was that this is like to help um incentivize and reward people for growing and maintaining um communities you know um that's what we're talking about essentially and how yeah 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 i think yeah yeah i think that this is like as i said earlier like this culture is completely different like i think um the the whole minds plus culture i'm not i mean i don't want to bash anything (laughs) i do love minds but the whole minds plus culture is just crap right now because it's it's a lot of gaming manipulating of the the minds plus speed it's not real um it's not real content and most of it i'm not saying none of it's not real content i don't want to bash people that make real content on minds plus because i do too and i know i know it's a pain in the ass to make real content and then put it out there and get spammed on that feed with with bullshit but like a lot of it is not real content and it's not a real culture on that minds plus feed a lot of it is gaming that plus feed for tokens and this is a whole different atmosphere like this is that this is all about culture and if we can bring in that some of the reward system even a little bit of that reward system into this culture where it's there's not going to be a competition for it yeah yeah 